Hey, hey, hey. Good morning, my lovelies. How are you guys doing today? My name is Kamoy. So we are doing the daily vibration for today's date of August 26, 2019. Okay. So today we are vibrating on the number one. But before I broke it down to the number one, we were vibrating on the number 10, which is awesome because the number zero is all about infinite potential and choices. Okay. And being able to trust your higher self and your intuition. So when you add zero and one, you get when you add zero and one, you get one, right? So we're definitely vibrating a number one today, but I thought it would be cool to kind of include the number zero in that because zero is just all that hidden potential, honey, right? So the number one vibrates on beginnings today. It vibrates in you being independent. It vibrates on uniqueness. It vibrates on positivity, love, and being able to tap into your inspiration today, honey. Okay. So the net, the negative um, vibration of the number one is um, lack of emotion. So you can see people today that's kind of um, emotionless. So we're going back to that narcissistic energy again. Remember, I've been talking about these timelines. Okay. Um, um, weak minded and weak will today, really, um, not being able to stand decisively strong in making a decision. Okay. Um, maybe even being dependent on others today. I'm um, having a very passive approach to things today. Um, as well as that aggressive and arrogant energy, that narcissist energy again in the atmosphere today. Okay. So my lovelies, just be mindful today that you get to choose your state. You get to choose whether you're going to tap into your um, higher self and your best potential that there is and make the proper choices to actually um, gain momentum in the experiences that you want to have. Create new beginnings today if necessary. Be independent and tap into your uniqueness. Step with it around and just positivity and love today and tap into your inspiration is what's popping today y'all okay so we're thanking our angels we're thanking our guys we're thanking our higher self we're thanking the divine masculine and feminine energy that's in the atmosphere to help god protect encourage inspire motivate and give us the strength and the courage to take action when it is needed okay here we go Ah, lighty, we need two chakra cards. We're just going to thank them for the two chakra cards. Let's see what two chakras we need to pay attention to today. Two chakra cards. Two chakra cards. Ah, we got third eye chakra. Um, faith, okay? Your third eye chakra is responsible for your imagination and your perception, okay? This is how you see things, okay? Do you see things as always turning out um, in a negative way for you? Or do you see things as turning out for your better good, okay? Not just for yourself, but for everyone involved, okay? Ah, uh, you were, I think... Um, I did a couple of videos. I can't remember which sign um, got uh, enlightenment. I want to say Virgo... But enlightenment is a solar plexus card. And your solar plexus is responsible for your ego. And it's responsible for your free will, which is your spirit and your soul. Okay. So today is asking you to pay attention to your faith walk as well as enlightenment that will be coming through. Now, remember I talked about this narcissist energy being in the atmosphere, guys. Right. Um, and with that being said, you just want to pay attention not to get sucked into other people's um, energy vampire today where they're just pulling um, emotional puppet strings, okay? Uh, Righty, give us some examples of what my lovelies will need to pay attention to today. Okay. All righty. Oh, all right, my love. So, we do have the... What is this? Is this the Six of Pentacles? We do have the Six of Pentacles showing up in reverse today. Clarify by the Devil card, which is ruled by Capricorn. And this is Saturn energy. And this is, you know, Capricorn energy. Um, now, um, this is the Six of Pentacles and the Devil card. Now, Pentacles energy is all about this third dimensional realm. This is all about your physical senses. This could represent your home or any type of um, third dimensional, your workplace. And when this energy pops up, this is about selfish energy. Okay. Um, this is about things being one sided. Okay. Somebody probably taking more than they give. Okay. And this is being clarified by the devil card. So this has to do with um, maybe um, materialism today. And we do have that narcissist energy in the atmosphere. Arrogance is in the atmosphere today. Okay. Um, so you could be dealing definitely with a narcissist today. Okay. Or this could be your energy, you know. Um, so you may want to check yourself today. Clarify. 
you want to clarify this uh, Six of Pentacles as well as the Devil card. Give me one more card to clarify this energy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We got the Queen of Pentacles popping up. So it's saying that you may need to be practical today when it comes to your money. Okay, you may need to be practical today, not to be selfish today, okay, and not to give one sidedly, okay, and especially because you need to operate by faith today. If you are trying to manifest something, you it, like it, you know, it, it, I don't know if you guys know of the law of vacuum, right? In order for something to be sucked in, something has to be poured out. So it's like when your vacuum cleaner is clogged, you can't get shit in because you need to pour some shit out. So, you know, in order for, for something to be um, pulled back to you, you have to release things, okay? So pay attention to this practical energy today with this queen of pentacles energy. This is all about being down to earth and this is all about security. So you may have to deal with some things today, okay? Um, especially when it comes to selfishness. Um, things that may it be just shopping, you know, too much when you know you should not be. Um, may it be um, some type of um, physical addiction. May it be, you know, addiction to being codependent on someone giving you what you need emotionally or financially or mentally, right? This is asking you to be practical today and to really step into a place where you're building your own security. The devil card is about facing yourself, okay? Step out on faith and gain the enlightenment that you need today, my loves, okay? All right, let's take a look at another situation that you may need to pay attention to. What else you got for my lovelies? What are the situations that they may be tapping into today that they may need to pay attention to? Okay, we got the four swords energy in the board. That's all about contemplation and meditation. Four swords energy is all about you being able to really relax and recoup right recuperation but it's clarified by this eight of cups energy um so it's kind of like somebody's been meditating and contemplating because they're fitting to walk away from something with this eight of air um this eight of cups energy right uh yep so you're clearly sitting and thinking and if you can see the cards they, they're walking away from something so you may have to walk away from something today you may have to step you know whatever enlightenment that you gain you will have to walk by faith or maybe walk away from something today okay um don't be weak will today if you're being asked to walk away from something. Really step into your power and trust the universe. Okay, especially if um, it's something that you know is not, it, it's like an inner knowing, right? That just keeps coming and it's not going away. And if you were presented with an opportunity to make that choice or that decision, you may just want to follow your spirit, okay? It's not going to leave you out. And as you follow your spirit and walk away, it's saying you can celebrate because you have the four of wands clarifying this. Wands energy is about your intuition, my love. So you're going to have to pay attention to your intuition today. For those of you that do do meditation um, and you have been contemplating some stuff and you have been feeling maybe that you've been um, a little passive with some stuff that you may need to walk away from or you may need to deal with, um, it's asking you to walk away from things. And as you walk away from things, you're going to be stepping into a place of celebration. And for some of you, if you walk away from this, this is definitely talking about bringing things back into harmony. And some of you, if you're walking away from some type of relationship, this could also be marriage and, um, you know, like um, harmony in to the home bringing back harmony into your home okay all right let's get one more um get one more let's get one more example for my wonderfuls of what the energy is in the atmosphere today give me one more example for my wonderfuls one more example that you would want my wonderful so no one more example or one more message, Freddie, that you will want my me my wonderful to know. What's the next message for my wonderful? We got the Empress in reverse on the board right now. So when the Empress is re in reverse, that's all about creative block. That's all about um, uh, maybe even being dependent on others. And we talked about that, I think, just a little while ago with the devil card. Being codependent on something and having to let break free and let some shit go. Okay, so the Empress in reverse. Because she clearly knows what she wants, right? So if she's upside down in the reverse, this is her saying she don't know what she wants. Right? So she's not sure what she wants here. Okay? And, 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 you know, she's not creating out of love right here. So she's up here, and this is Venus right here, and she's creating out, out of love. Right here, she's not creating out of love right here, okay? She's not creating here. She's blocked. 
maybe depending on somebody else. And she's clarified by the hermit in reverse, okay? So we're talking about somebody is blocked. Um, uh, you could be blocked emotionally. You could be blocked um, um, because it's the empress and she's a creator. Your abundance could feel blocked. Um, you got the hermit in reverse clarifying this. And this could be because some of you are isolating yourself and maybe even feeling lonely. Some of you have just with, withdrawn. Okay, let's, some, let's clarify this. Clarify the empress in reverse and the uh, hermit in reverse. What do you want my lovelies to know about this energy? Okay, whatever codependence you have in others, that could probably make you feel withdrawn or uh, make you isolate yourself because you don't feel like you're operating in your own true um, path. Okay, it's asking you to have faith and be enlightened and make the choices that you need to make today. Okay, whether it's simply just um, I am going to live my truth the way I see it. Um, you don't necessarily have to scream that out loud to anybody. That's just an internal decision that you have to make. Yeah. This is also clarified by the star card in reverse. When the star card is, somebody's having a difficult time today. Okay. Somebody feels drawn and lonely today. Somebody does not feel like they're encouraged. Somebody feel like their faith is not on point today. Somebody feel discouraged. Um, somebody's even in despair. Right. But if you can hold on, if you're listening to this message and you feel like this should get to someone that may be feeling this and someone that you feel close to, you have been walking through some type of depression, tell them to step outside today and have faith, okay? The universe wants to deliver something to them. It's all about enlightenment, but they can't isolate themselves, especially isolate themselves in darkness because I am seeing somebody that's isolating themselves. It's like they're not even opening the blinds. They're not even letting the sunlight in, all right? They're not even letting the sunlight in. Um... Okay, I'm going to give you an angel card for this pull for this person that's not letting the sunlight in. Okay, we're going to do an angel. Um, let's see what your angels want you to know. Whoever is sitting in the dark, you know, isolating yourself, feeling like you're dependent on others for whatever. May that be emotional money and just isolating yourself and feeling lonely. Um, okay. Yeah, we got a message for you. Okay, what do you want? What do you want them to know? What do you want them to know? What message do you have? What message of encouragement 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 do you have? Okay, you have Maya and you have Isabella popping up as messages, and I'm going to read them for you. Okay, uh, Maya is saying schooling, study, and educational help your life's purpose and personal growth at this time. The angels will guide you and help you with this process. That means you can't isolate yourself. You need to get out of that. You need to get out the house, okay? But you can't meet the people. Um, and you can't get the education and the help that you need if you are stuck and isolating yourself, okay? And then you also have Isabella, and Isabella is saying, yes, the timing is right for this new venture, okay? Happy outcome follows your positive expectations. Then I just say that you got to get out your head and walk on faith today. So this is for whoever has been in a depressive state, not going out the house, sitting up in that house with their windows closed, right? Probably even not talking to people as much as you used to, right? The universe is saying, step out the house today. Walk in faith. Be enlightened today. And as you step out the house, you're going to be met by your angels and by your guides today, okay? And that's to whoever has this empress energy, the hermit energy, and the star energy in reverse, okay? These are all three major ikana. Um, cause happening now I do want to say for some of you this can just be somebody going through um, um, blind justice that's coming with the universe this can be somebody going through blind justice right now because of the shit that they've put out into the universe and this shit is hitting them um, depresses now let me tell y'all something even though you you um even though you've handed out some shit that don't mean that you can't go back and get to a place where you redeemed yourself and the only way for you to redeem yourself is within self 
Okay, you start within self, doing the work within self, and then if you need to act, you know, go outwardly and mend, and mend some fences, then then that's what you do. But you can't really do any of that until you start to do this work. So for those of you that had just, you know, where the universe is returning some shit, or you know that this is because this is pertains to somebody where the universe is returning some stuff. Um, and you feel sad for them anyway, give them the encouraging messages. Maybe they've chosen a different timeline, but they still have to go through the law of cause and effect and the law of karma. Okay. All right. My lovelies be kind to yourself today, guys. Make sure you love yourself. Make sure you drink plenty of water. Okay. Program your water. All right. I will check you guys out tomorrow in your next daily. And if your uh, individuals are not up yet, it will be uh, within the next couple of days. So you can check out all the other signs. If you are a cross watcher or if you are just into your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus. All right, my loves, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.